Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's going on? Y'all know what it is. Your boy Mike Bree, Mike Bree TV. Welcome to today's show. I know what you're thinking. I do it. I do it every single month. I know what you're thinking. I haven't done a video in a long time. But I'm doing one for you now. And you know what? I may think about doing this two parts. It's not going to be a part one or anything, but I'll, I'll probably do another video probably sometime in the weekend. Or I'll probably do it on Monday because today is Friday. So I might do a video Monday, a follow-up video. So I'm going to explain to you that the NBA is still riding LeBron's coattails. I don't know what's going on. They riding his coattails throughout the whole entire playoffs. They, they basically did it in the regular season. But you know what? Let me get to the real point of this video. I say it every single year. The NBA playoffs have been a joke every single year, except for 2008 through 2011. Those finals were real. Those seasons were real. The NBA was real. But it seemed like it seemed like when LeBron James and the Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, when they grouped up together, something something changed in the NBA. And I, I want to hear you guys' opinion. Do you think something changed in the NBA to the point that, where they like, you know what, let's just talk about LeBron more. And look, I don't care about the other players. Let's just talk about LeBron more since he's beginning to be in his prime and he's starting to get better or whatever, which I, I'm not I'm – not, Hating everything, he 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 had he has improved, but come on, man, talk about somebody else. It, it's it's not LeBron James in the NBA. It, it's not LeBron, LeBron slash NBA. That, that's not a title. It's called NBA, where you talk about other players more than one player. But they continue to talk about him. These playoffs. What do you think about these playoffs, man? Shoot, I tell you what. The only playoff game I watched fully was Portland and Houston, game one. After that, I didn't see anything else. I saw half of the Clippers and uh, Golden State game, game one. Uh, what else I saw? Uh, I saw I saw a couple of highlights of the Brooklyn and Raptors. Other than that, the playoffs have been a joke. I haven't watched it. I only watched the highlights. I mean, it's nothing to be excited about. If, if a team, like, for example, the Atlanta Hawks and Pacers, pay attention in that series. The Hawks lead 2-1. to one. What's going on? They, they say that the Pacers will be in the conference finals to face the Heat. It doesn't, it doesn't look so to me. And if the Pacers get eliminated by the Atlanta Hawks, don't be surprised. Because I, I don't know. The, the Pacers look like they don't they don't want it this year, and they were supposed to beat the Heat, but it seems like the Miami Heat are getting a clear cut path to the playoff to the finals again. I don't get it. I don't understand it, and I guarantee you, fans gonna be pissed off if they go again and win it all again because it doesn't make sense. It's almost like a pattern. It's almost like they're picking the easy teams for the Heat because you know good and well the Heat though do not have no competition. They are not going against competition when they're playing in the playoffs. They're not going through it. I guarantee it. Pay attention. Um, Portland and Houston. Portland leads the series 2-0. Houston hasn't won. Dwight Coward, you you left you left the team you, a, a, after you after you left my Lakers. Y'all we we got swept. You talk you talk about some. Well, I know because of Mike D'Antoni this and the third. But what what you left for? It look, it looked like you about to get swept again. So what you left for? You left for no reason. You gonna be the journeyman. You gonna be the journeyman going from team to team trying to find a championship. But you might stay. I don't know. Oh, uh, what else? Brooklyn and Toronto. I'm telling you right now. If if Toronto uh, beats Brooklyn at home, something has to be going on because I I think Brooklyn can beat the Heat. I'm looking for Brooklyn to beat the Heat. I hope so. They have to. They swept in the regular season. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is just in just in these different games, I want you to pay attention while you're watching. Because for me, I might watch the highlights. I might watch watch half. If the game is getting garbage or boring, I'm, I'm not going to take it seriously. Um, if, oh, I almost forgot. Bad officiating. Why in the, why in the hell am I going to watch a playoff game 
where there's all these bad officials on the floor calling the stupid calls. Oh, Chicago and Washington. Washington leads the series 2 Oh, You know Goodwill Chicago has good defense. Why the heck they not winning? John Wall, man, get that mess out of here. That's the stuff I'm talking about right there. So I'm telling you, these, these playoffs, to me, are just a joke. I'll watch some of the highlights, but as far as watching the game, I might watch a couple of the games, but it's really nothing to be excited about. It's really nothing to be like, oh, I'm shocked because a team won, when you know they probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have won anyway. The referees always miss calls. And even some of the referees be like, um, on the, on the NBA page, they talk about some. Oh, oh, we, oh, we missed, we, we, we missed the call in game one. Um, Chris Paul didn't really step out of bounds or something like that. That's just the example. So that altered the game. But I'm telling you, what what you guys think? These NBA playoffs are a joke once again. And you know what? We are gonna go ahead and do a part two on Monday. I'm going to talk, talk to you about how the NBA loves bringing up a LeBron James. They continue to talk about him time in and time again. But anyway, this is your boy, Mike Bree. I'm going to always stay the same, and you're watching Mike Bree TV. You already know. Chilling, got the couch and everything. <laughs> I'm out.